for you, just to prepare you, not to scare you. Cooler, dry overnight, things are fine. Much of tomorrow, Friday, fine as well. Up until about 5, 6 o'clock in the afternoon, around this time tomorrow, we'll see some storms and showers develop and pop up on the horizon. Then sweep across southeast Michigan, including us right here in Motown, by 6 p.m. and afterward. And there's a possibility of some heavy downpours and some damaging wind. 77 right now for our friends over in Oxford. Hello, Mount Clemens. You've got 80 degrees right on the nose. We're still holding on to middle and upper 70s in Washtenaw County. The storms are very far away. You can see that way off to our west, out toward the Dakotas, on the left-hand side of your screen. So showers and storms are not here yet. But they are going to steadily move in our direction and develop as we go over the next 24 hours. Now, in the immediate future, just some fair weather clouds overnight tonight and when you wake up on Friday. Much of the day on Friday, as you can see on this computer model, will be fine. But right in the middle of your screen, that's where we are right here in Detroit. Those areas of yellow and red you see popping up, those are some of the showers and storms that start to develop and move across ahead of a, ahead of a cold front. And they stick with us through a good portion of Friday night and into Saturday morning. In fact, let me zoom in a little bit closer. National Weather Service has upgraded the chance of any severe weather to slight and enhanced across much of southeast Michigan. You can see the areas where it's enhanced, that's higher on the scale, include Oakland County from Holly and Milford to the west out toward Livingston County, Ann Arbor westward as well, and in Genesee County. And the main threats from these storms for tomorrow, looks like it'll be lightning, which could be frequent, and you never want to play with that. You always want to duck inside. The possibility of damaging wind on the lower end of the scale are hail and, uh, and the chance of an isolated tornado. Not out of the realm of a possibility, but it is not a guarantee. Temperatures will be in the middle and upper 80s for tomorrow. Some showers and storms linger on Saturday, but for the second half of our weekend, 